Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screen record on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. So first of all, just swipe down twice until we see the control center. And then you see this button right here, screen recorder. This is the screen recorder built in to the Samsung devices. So we'll tap on this one. And then we see allow Samsung capture to take pictures and record video. We want to tap on while using the app, allow Samsung capture to record audio while using the app. And now we have this message, start recording with screen recorder. So essentially, this gives you the option, right? You can record with no sound at all, meaning your screen recording will have no sound. Media sound, meaning if you're playing a game such as PUBG, the PUBG audio will be uh, hearable. And then media sounds with mics. So you know you can hear me right now speaking. If you're speaking, the screen recorder will pick that up, but it will also pick up the internal game audio, uh, such as, you know, PUBG fire shooting on there. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do for this, I'm just gonna set this to media sound. I'm gonna tap on start recording. And then you see there is a countdown. You can skip the countdown if you want. And now the recorder has started. So you can see at the very top, we do have a menu. I'm just gonna tap on this arrow to minimize this menu. And every single action on my device is now being recorded. You may notice your device may, may be laggy. The reason why is because when you're in screen recording mode, the screen recorder will set your frame rate to 60. So uh, that is one small downside. Let's say if you're used to playing PUBG at 90 FPS, you have to play at 60 FPS if you're using the default screen recorder. But any action you do will be recognized. So if I just open up uh, the browser, that's being recognized, all that good stuff. Now, if you want to stop the screen recording, all you do is you just swipe out and you can see the menu here and you have the pause and the stop. So I'm just going to tap on stop recording and now the recording has been stopped and it should be saved into the gallery applications. So let's have a look at this. And you can see there is my screen recording. So just tap on the uh, the video and you can see, boom, there we go. So you can see every action is recorded. You see right here, me activating control center, opening up the internet, everything is fully working and everything has been recorded without any issues. So that's really all you need to know. Uh, if you really absolutely must check this out, you can do this as well. You can search up screen recording and we should have a screenshot and screen recorder option. There we go, tap on this. And you can choose uh, the video quality. So if you want to lower the video quality for whatever reason, you can do that here. I don't recommend you do that. Now, every single time you start the screen recorder, you have the option for sound, whether you use media sounds, no sounds, media sounds with mic. So there's no real point about this, but if you really need to change the, uh, the recording quality, you can do it right here. Unfortunately, you cannot change the frame rate. It's stuck to 60. However, that's just one of those things that you cannot control. Maybe in a future update, it will be available in those settings. That's why I just wanted to briefly mention this area. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.